Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, as you can see, I've been cleaning the Skeeter up today. It was pretty, well, let's just say it was dirty, okay? Uh, a lot of guide trips, a lot of tournaments, and I just hadn't had a whole lot of time, so we've been cleaning it the pool, the cars, the trucks, I've done everything, so now it's the boat's turn. So I thought it would be a good time to talk about fish care, all right? If anybody's still fishing tournaments late into the summer, uh, you know how hard it is to keep your fish alive. Uh, hopefully you're fishing a three fish tournament or they're late in the evening, early in the morning, but you're not having to fish the whole day because it was really hard to keep your fish alive. Uh, you know, you got ice and G juice and all kinds of other tricks. Um, but one of the most important parts, personally, is keeping your live wells clean. I don't know if you've looked in your live well in a while, but it's probably pretty grimy and nasty. Uh, I know mine is, and I'm getting ready to clean it. So I use a Lysol, uh, antibacterial, just, I mean, uh, use a vacuum, get all the sand out of the bottom, all the loose parts. Uh, hopefully there's no gizzard chat or bait fish left in there, because but anyway, once it's clean, vacuumed out, all the hard stuff, then I'll go in here and I'm going to spray this Lysol in there, wipe it down, get it nice and clean. Then I'm going to fill my live wells up with water and put just a dab of bleach in there, just some bleach. And then turn in, turn all my circulator pumps on, run them wide open, I mean just let them circulate. And we're cleaning, now we're cleaning the pumps, the hoses, the intakes, we're getting all the bacteria out of there. and. Uh, it just, you know, little things go a long way in turning the fishing, especially when you're trying to take care of your fish. So, anyway, I'm going to show you a couple steps and the end product, and I hope you like it. Alright, so as you can see, man, the bottom of my lab wells are pretty dirty. Kind of embarrassed about that, but we're about to take care of it. So we're going to take this Lysol, we're going to spray it in there, get it on the edges. All right, so the live wells are clean. Now we're just gonna fill them up with water and we're gonna put a little bleach in there. Just put a sprinkle of little bleach and let the pump circulate, so stand by. All right, now the live wells are filling up nice and clean, like sitting nice pretty water. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn our pumps on. And I'm just gonna turn them on on. I want them to just constantly run. We're not trying to save our batteries here. So, got a nice, good, also check your valves, make sure your valves are still uh, nice and tight and pointing in the right direction. Alright, so now, I'm just going to take a little bleach. Just a little house, household bleach, okay? I'm just going to put just a little bit in there. All right, dab will do you. It ain't got to be a whole lot. And we're just going to let that circulate in the live wells for about 10 minutes. And let it roll. So the neat thing about the Skeeters is it's a single well tank. You see the little divider in there? All right. So what that does is it allows you to have two sets of pumps. So if one side goes down during a tournament, you still have the capability to keep your fish alive. And then, if anything goes wrong, there's all your fittings, okay? Easy to reach, perfect. You ain't gotta dig through stuff. There's your pumps down there. Bilge, intake, pump out, research. Everything is easy to get to. I mean, you can see how, how well put together this bilge area is. All right. That's pretty clean right there. All right, there we have it. Two spick and span clean live wells. Smell like uh, fresh laundry. <laughs> I right, hope that video helped. You guys take care. We'll see you out on the water.